At this time of year, we all scramble to find perfect holiday gifts. But if the idea of getting your kids and family members stuff that requires batteries or a trip to a big box store doesn't really get you into the spirit, maybe supporting a local handmade toy and gift maker will. I recently met with a Happy Valley man who started his business when he was out of a job and now he's hoping to keep it going to support his family. One time this was a cabinet shop. It was a family business. It was my dad's business. He started about 35 years ago. Even though Chris Howells' family is no longer in the cabinet building business, he still works in this wood shop. Day after day, hours at a time. Constructing the building blocks of a new career. About a year ago, he realized he had to. I had no work, no job. When the housing market fell, the Howells family business crumbled. So Chris turned his hobby of making wooden block sets into his job. I made a decision right up front, um, wise or unwise, whatever it may have been. I made a decision, I'm not going to go on unemployment. I've got to put my hand to the plow, so to speak, and make ends meet for my family. He realized there's a demand for his Made in the USA product. So piece by handcrafted piece, he's creating a supply. I can fill a need that not many people are filling with the natural wood uh, blocks, uh, just like we all had when we were little kids, but aren't readily available today as they once were. Mostly selling his product online, he's reached a wide and welcoming customer base. I love the emails from grandmas who are just thrilled, saying these are the same blocks that they had when they were little and passed on to their kids. Chris also branched out and started making other wooden collectibles. The variation of wood types uh, really adds the uniqueness of my products. Puzzles and drink coasters are the newest additions to his line. Um, here's some sapili or um, it's kind of a, a farm grown mahogany. His materials all from local mills or reclaimed pieces from wood shops in town. I hope I can sell it all because that was a lot of work this summer. Chris says this year's holiday time sales will either make or break the future of his business. His focus is simply doing what he can to support the ones he loves. I've done it out of necessity, but at the same time when I stop and look at what I've accomplished, it, there's a sense of pride there. But at the same time, there's a sense of responsibility that I, I've, I've got to keep doing this uh, to keep providing uh, for my family. And ultimately, that's number one. And we have one of Chris's toys right here. Take a look. This is the Soma Cube Puzzle. The craftsmanship on his pieces of work are just incredible. It's made of reclaimed oak wood, and it's a logic puzzle and brain teaser, a perfect stocking stuffer. Chris will have a booth at this weekend's Christmas Bazaar at the Expo Center. And get this, he is offering a 10% discount to K2 viewers. Just tell him you saw this story and you want to support his local business. You can also check out his website by going to our website, katu.com. Just look on the Inside K2 tab and you'll find the hot link right there. So I was so impressed I, by nice his Nice story. That's really, that's a great uh, piece. And, and don't you just love how it's like, it's not something that requires batteries. I exactly. It's like something that, you know, you can sit there and fiddle with. And right, and we were just talking during the the, uh, the story that I, we both remember playing with blocks. And you it, want those blocks for Christmas. <laughs> exactly. Okay, I will get list. you a set. <laughs> yeah, check it out at the Holiday Bazaar this but, weekend. Yeah, definitely lots of fun. And again.